Hello, one and all. It is I, and I am back with a few small updates, some changes. Uh, this is still the world I was using last week. I just um explored and found some new territory. So we do not have trees full of unknown objects. Bird nest does exist. You can see here in my inventory. Um, I do apologize that my HUD is so tiny. Uh, I guess there was recently some changes, and I just haven't looked into uh, that enough to to fix it. But here's something weird. When I put bird nests out, they're black, but in my hand they're textured. And I don't know why. Am I still in creative? Oh, I am. I am in creative mode. Okay, well, that's lame then. Let me uh, exit creative mode. Hold a nice chunk of raw meat here. I just made those textures before recording this. Um, dummy images, but nothing that I did. So here I have this lovely chunk of raw meat. Uh, I do not have any mobs in here yet. This is part of my food mod, though. So we have the raw meat. Um, and I want to show you guys a couple little improvements. Okay, so we've got the furnace here. Of course, nothing new with the furnace. Let's throw a couple slabs of meat in there. And let's uh, throw in all my coal lumps. Definitely do not need that many. Um, yeah, I made raw steak take 10 seconds to cook, which I don't know what it took... Like, I, I can't say in default because default doesn't have meat, but like in the the mobs, I don't know how long it took to cook meat, but, but eh, about 10 seconds seems right. Um, doing a lot of balancing type stuff here. And so I'm trying to, you know, make things, some things take a little longer to cook than others to make it a little more realistic. Um, my crescent moon here, that's actually the nesting materials that you get from a bird nest. Okay, so we got four cooked steaks now. And then there is a third style of steak, which, um, let me see if I remember what I called that. Why is my command not working? That doesn't make sense. Give me food steak smoked. Yep. So we have a smoked steak as well. Now, currently, you may have noticed that I do not have the um, little hydration bar down at the bottom. Ben just made an update to the mod, which looks great. Uh, it adds a thirsty drink function and a function so you can change the rate at which a player gets thirsty. Both phenomenal ideas. Unfortunately, it refuses to work for me. I have looked into it and I can't quite figure out what the bug is, so I can't fix it myself. So I reported it on his on the forum topic. And we'll see we'll see how that goes. But so we have these three types of meat. We have raw meat, which obviously you don't want to eat because it'll give you damage, which I think Wait, hey, hey, what? Why is Rami healing me? I'm not supposed to do that. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. We have the cooked meat, which of course should heal you. And we have smoked meat, which, oh man, why did I do that? Which should heal you as well. And it does. Now the one thing different here though, is the, the smoked steak here is going to make you thirstier. So kind of think of smoked steak as being something more along the lines of, say, like beef jerky. Okay, so it's it's really more of a dried thing than really smoked. Um, so it's gonna make you thirsty when you eat it. Gonna re um, revive amount, revive the same amount of health, but it's gonna last infinitely in your inventory. Um, I haven't tested this out too much yet. And the game may actually just straight up and crash on me when this happens. 
But I found... Oh, and you know, I closed Firefox, so I can't even show you it. Um, I believe last week I talked about the mod that made food spoil. Well, I found the mod, and I modified the strings, so it should make my raw meat spoil. I did not change the duration that it gives you, and right now it is probably way too long. So, I don't know if we're going to notice any meat spoiling. Um, but meat will spoil. Or, at some point, I'll get that portion working so it will spoil. And what's going to happen is raw meat's going to spoil the quickest. Um, I'll probably give two or three minutes for raw meat. Which basically means when you hunt something and you, you kill it, you got a couple minutes to get some kind of fire going where you can cook it. And I do plan on implementing support for cooking over campfires. So that'll be available. I'm going to see if I can't make it go a little slower than a furnace, though. But I'm not sure on that yet. Uh, so you'll have that option to cook your meat. Which then cooked meat's going to last. I'm thinking doing something like two days worth or so. I, I haven't really decided yet. Um, again, it's going to be one of those things where you have to have to do a lot of balancing to figure out what really works well and what doesn't. And then smoked meat is going to be in a category all its own. Um, basically, for the smoked meat, what you're going to need is you'll have to actually build a smoker. And the smoker is going to work kind of like a furnace does, where you throw your raw meat in top. Um, I'm thinking of having you add like a salt as well, or some kind of a seasoning, um, but I don't know for sure on that. And then, of course, you're going to need a burnable material. However, coal's not going to work here. Um, they're going to have to use actual chunks of wood. So, as the game progresses, I'm going to add new trees in. Right now, we've just kind of got, like, these goofy oak tree, apple tree things. Well, I'm going to make an actual apple tree that'll have different textures than the default tree here does. And then I've actually already created, um, I've created the texture for the pear here. Oh, that's what that would be giving me. We've got this beautiful kind of goofy looking pear. Uh, so we're going to have a pear tree as well. So we'll have pears and apples. I'm thinking of adding some other veggies in too. Or veggies, yeah. I'm thinking of adding some other fruits in as well. Um, and these will both restore hydration and some health. Um, kind of got to still figure out color styling here. Doing black borders on some. The apple doesn't. I don't know. Got to get something consistent. Uh, bird nest. I know the picture in your inventory here looks super teeny. But that won't actually matter because you cannot harvest a bird nest. When you harvest it, you get ta -da! this little crescent moon, which I meant to tell you about a little sooner. That is actually nesting materials. Those will be used to make fires. Um, and you know what? I did the new torch recipe, which is string. I may change that. Oh, I already did. It works with kindling. So you can use bird nesting materials to make a weak torch. And then to make a stronger torch, you had to do a weak torch and a piece of coal. Now I'm thinking, because I, I believe I have the bees mod in here. If I don't, I'm going to be adding it. Um, I'm going to make it so you can obviously take the honey from the bees nest, which you already can. But I'm going to do that. And we will use the beeswax. We'll use the beeswax to um, to upgrade torches. So instead of using coal, which is kind of unrealistic, if you really think about it, um, we'll use wax instead, which I think is going to be a lot more realistic. One of these must be default apple, and one is food apple. I don't know which. Um, but yeah, so make that change. And then I'm also thinking of, instead of doing, and this I haven't mentioned yet, but because I have the more fire mod, which I created in here, 
and that does that that makes uh an oil lantern which you make oil with from tree leaves oh you know what? i need a vessel though for that you make the oil out of well i'll just say a uh, glass bottle here and then six leaves on top similar to the home decor mod packs recipe for what is there's paraffin or something then you cook it to get plastic sheets that's um it's too hokey for me on a sub game so we're gonna use paraffin and i'll just do some kind of a craft recipe for that and we'll make liquid paraffin i have to look that up online see how that's actually made i feel like for some reason it's alcohol and wax but i don't know if that's actually true but we'll make a recipe for liquid paraffin and then the oil lanterns will be liquid paraffin lanterns. And that'll be a little more realistic, I think. Um, another change I made, which I can show you now that I'm done cooking here. Um, yeah, we've got a uh, furnace. When you dig the furnace, you don't get a furnace back. Nope, you get... Let me throw these three up here. You get three cobble. So... No more just building furnaces all over the place because you're gonna, in essence, be wasting five pieces of cobble every time you build and dig a furnace. I'm going to make changes to the fires, which I'm thinking I don't even remember what the craft recipe is for a campfire. Um, you're gonna change that too so you the drops won't be campfires anymore. You're gonna get like sticks and probably some material that'll be on a tinder group so you'll be able to use leftovers from a campfire to make a new campfire which makes sense the wood's dried you get to use it for doing torches as well um and i think that's gonna make it a little more realistic than you know digging up a campfire and carrying around a campfire with you because honestly campfire is nothing more than you know a collection of flammable stuff so that change is going to be implemented soon-ish. Um, I really wish some of these bird nests were spawning in the trees. But I'm honestly not seeing any. I changed the the ABM around, and I, I don't know for sure if it's actually working. I'd have to imagine it is. But because I'm not seeing any, I'm not sure. Um, I made a check. Well, actually, I already had a check. Um, originally, it would just place the bird nest where the leaf was. Not anymore. It places it one note above the leaf. So you will not have bird nests floating, you know, at the bottom row here. So it's kind of goofy. And um, then I... Ooh! Nice! Look at that chat message. Something in your inventory is starting to smell bad. That means it's working. I have no idea how long this is going to take after it starts to smell bad. Um, that is my rotting meat, by the way. Oh, wait, I already have rotten steak. Yes! It's working! Oh, this is so exciting! So, um, absolutely no credit to myself for this code. I don't even know how it works. I just went through and changed item strings. Um, we, we must have had 13 raw steak, and we have now 10 that we can eat, and 3 rotten steaks. Um, I don't have an image for rotten steaks yet, because I didn't think of making that when I was doing my steaks <sighs> yeah i'm a genius so i'll just have to do that um i don't know what would a rotten steak look like green green and fuzzy should i like turn the fat like a bright green? i don't know i could do something fun but yeah so now we've got rotten steak let's eat some of this stuff because that should cause damage that did not cause enough damage I lost half a heart, or uh, half of a health from eating rotten steak. Should have lost more than that, I feel. Alright, so that is working. So that is really exciting, because that means that I can make my other changes. Um, I want to do grass. That's going to dry up in your inventory. Um, it's also supposed to affect items in worlds. However... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
because I have the... Oh, there we go. Finally, I got it dropped. Because I have that... Uh, what do they call it? Suction or whatever, where items suck into your inventory. It makes throwing things extremely hard. But yeah, these guys sitting on the ground are supposed to rot too. So the same will work for like this grass here. Now that not implemented yet. I have to go through, look at the code. I have to change times. I'm hoping I can do it as a a table with the different item strings and the decay lengths. And then just loop through that table in the uh, code that actually handles it. So I don't have to just make a super huge file. But we'll see. Either way, it's going to be awesome. Well, Alright, I am super stoked now. Alright, so that works. Yes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any sort of refrigeration just yet. Or, you know, any way to preserve this. You know what I should do? I should make a salted meat as well. Um, I think in a raw meat in the center and then surround it with salt. I already have a salt node in world. Which, there's probably none around here. But in the last time I was showing off. Uh, I don't think I really pointed it out, but it was everywhere. Um, basically just, you know, normal rock the head. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I could kill myself if I jump in there. Um, didn't I have a pickaxe? Yes, I did. Oh, hey, I find a screw there. So yeah, we've got the salt here, which drops these super hokey looking salt lumps. I'm such a terrible pixel artist when it comes to making salt. Uh, four, we would need eight. These textures definitely need to be changed. As does the gen, because there's salt way too often. Uh, it should come in huge strands like this, but there's too many of them in the world. But yeah, something along the lines of this. And you put a raw steak in the center and you'd get salted steak, which you could then eat, but that would make you very thirsty. Oh, because you get you get nine salt from a chunk of salt. I don't remember coding that, but obviously I did because it's my own mod. So that's another idea. Um, and then maybe you would use you could use it in like a stew or something where then it wouldn't make you so thirsty, but that would preserve it at least, so it wouldn't spoil on you right away. It's an idea. I'm going to have to implement that. Well, I think we've been going long enough here, guys. I don't want to... Oh! <laughs> Almost died. don't want to bore everybody out. And I wish I knew where I had been. Oh, here we go. I totally got to change these textures for this pathway mod, too. These just look terrible, honestly. They look really terrible. Where did that meat go? Isn't it sitting around here? Did I just see it over here? There it is. It still looks like it's a fine lump of meat. And I, I don't know how this code all works. I don't know if moving an item in your inventory restarts the timers. No idea how it works. No idea at all. But we'll figure it out. Anyways, guys, that's it for this week's look at my sub game. I'll catch you again next week with hopefully a lot more updates to the game. I have this following weekend off. So it's going to give me a lot of time to get work done on this mod. Mod. What am I saying mod? on this sub game. I'm just so used to saying mind test mod reviews and modding tutorials that I'm forgetting what I'm doing here. Well, signing out guys. See you in a week. And by then I'm saying this meat's gonna all be rotten. Though I don't know if I'm gonna just let it sit here. I gotta put like a sign next to it. Waiting for meat to rot. Or something. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next week.